I'm standing behind two different car fridges. This is an Alpicool, it's their 15 liter, their C15 model, bought in 2019. This is the Vecchi's, it's their 18 liter model, it's the CR18. So both of these fridges are very similar. The compressor is on this side over here. They have a little control panel um, and they have a lid. Now here's the major difference is the height. The width and the depth are about the same, but the height obviously is about two inches higher on this guy. Also, this guy has a latch on the lid where you can just pinch and lift with one hand. It's nice and easy to open. You can't close it without closing the latch easily. This guy lid is friction fit, so you can lift it with one hand and open it, but unless there's a lot of stuff in the cooler, it might wiggle a little bit when you do that. Um, this guy also comes off, the lid pops out, and you can purchase a 20 liter version of this, and the only difference is the lid bumps up and makes it about the same height, maybe a little bit higher even. So if you want a 20 liter comparison, um, the 20 liter version of this costs 220, whereas that guy costs 199, and this guy currently on Amazon costs 199 too. So the control panel, basically you set a temperature, it maintains the temperature. The Alpicool has a little USB plug. You can plug in something, charge it at one amp. Um, you know, if this guy's plugged into your car cigarette lighter and you only have one and you don't have any splitters and you need to charge something, that's kind of a nice feature. This guy doesn't have a USB charger built in. It does have a little circle to put a drink in, which seems kind of gimmicky, but I've used it. It's kind of nice to have if you need it. If you're going to put a drink somewhere, it's nice to have it in there. Um, this is a very smooth top. This top is kind of a pebbled appearance. This guy's white. It shows dirt better than this guy. It's kind of, you know, it's brown and it has kind of the gray. Um, from a visual aesthetic standpoint, I like the flat white. You know, it's almost a gloss. It's kind of a matte white. Better than this appearance. But, you know, they're both all right. They're both made out of plastic. Also, interior, both of them have tubs that are plastic. So it works if you put cold things in and turn it on, it'll keep them cold, but you do see some lines inside where the refrigerant lines wrap around the plastic tub. You'll get frost only on those lines, and so the plastic tub doesn't pull heat from the whole area as well as a metal tub would. I know the Alpicool makes a 22 model that has a metal tub and a drain, but it costs 260 so you know that's the next price point up. One thing I need to mention about the control panel on this guy is that it works fine, it maintains temperature, centigrade works great. If you're in Fahrenheit mode, when the compressor turns off, the display goes wonky. Um, it keeps, the refrigeration works just fine, it's just a display bug. And Vecchi's customer support said, yeah, we have a problem with the conversion of the temperature conversion math, it's just affecting the display. They're going to be fixing that on, you know, in the next batch they make. But, you know, if you need absolute, positively Fahrenheit temperature displaying perfectly correct all the time, this guy here does that. This guy doesn't. I mostly just use it in centigrade mode. It's fine. You could even use it in Fahrenheit mode and just ignore the temperature display when it goes wonky after the compressor turns off. But that is a difference with these two. So, they have handles on them. And this guy has handles that are interior, that are stuck inside. Um, that cuts into the insulation a little bit on this side, so a little bit of heat escapes there, but it's not a big deal. I think that looks a little better than the handles on here, which stick out. Now, these handles kind of, you go up and in. They actually, I think, give you a slightly better grip on the cooler than these handles, which are more flat. They're both perfectly fine for carrying the cooler around. Um, if you want the absolute best grip possible, I think these give you, you can kind of pinch on the top as well, they give you a little bit better grip. Um, but you're losing space over here because you can't put this up against a wall, it's going to lose, you know, three quarters of an inch. On the other side, it doesn't matter. You need to leave a couple of inches around all these vents to let air flow, so it doesn't matter that that handle is sticking out there. So, you know, that's personal preference for the most part. From an interior standpoint, this guy has just a little bit more room. The dimensions are a little bit plus and minus here and there for both of them. You're going to be getting about the same amount of food in either one of these. So I wouldn't worry too much about that interior dimensions, except perhaps for the height. If you have a need to store something that's tall and you need to store it vertically, this guy might be a better deal. 
On the other hand, if you have a small space that you need to fit under, this guy gives you an inch and a half to two inches on that. Now from a depth standpoint, the Alpicule is actually about a half inch wider this way than this guy. It doesn't really matter from a can perspective, because either way you look at it, you can't get four cans in wide. You can only do three cans wide. So this guy gets just slightly farther in on that one. Same way, it's just a little bit wider this way as well. But that actually matters from a can perspective, because you can get five cans in here with just a you know finger's width of room over there, where this guy over here, you can't quite get five cans in, but it's really close. So the Alpicool has about seven and a quarter inches. This guy here has about eight and a quarter inches. So you get an extra inch all the way across the top. Now, does the height difference matter? Maybe. I mean, there's lots of things that won't fit in this fridge that would also not quite fit in that fridge. You know, it's closer, but it's just not going to fit unless you lay them sideways. However, there are some drinks where they're just a little bit too tall for this guy, but they fit very comfortably in that guy. So it depends on how much you want to carry drinks vertically versus horizontally and the exact height of whatever you're trying to pack. So the biggest difference between these two guys from an operational standpoint is power consumption. So I've measured the two of them. This guy over here, when it is maintaining refrigeration temperature, kind of, you know, one degree centigrade for 24 hours, this guy here takes 300 watt hours. And this guy takes 190, so you know, it's 50% less. Um, so from an amp hour, from a 12 volt battery standpoint, this guy takes about 16 amp hours per day. This guy over here takes 23, 24 amp hours per day. So if you wanted a battery to run it for a day, if it's lead acid, you're going to need a 32 amp hour battery for this one and a 48 amp hour battery for this one. Obviously, um, you know, you need a slightly smaller solar panel to keep them running. So the big win from this guy, I think, is the lower power consumption. So those are the two fridges, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. I've also done a full review of each fridge. You can follow links to see those.